Hello everybody and welcome back to City. Let's play and have some fun. <clears throat> and I've got a new game for us today. This is Stranded Deep. Now I played this when it first got released and they've just done a massive update where they've added in tons and tons of new stuff. Um, if, uh, you can like now make customizable rafts, uh, which we'll get into at some point. Uh, you can also edit your worlds, which I haven't done. I haven't edited this world at all. I've just put in a seed number. I'll just use the random seed that it's given me. And um, yeah, they've got farming in it now and loads of other cool buildings and blocks and you know just amazing stuff. So let's go ahead and jump into this game. Um, this I haven't been onto this map yet, so I don't know what's going to be on our first island. I'm guessing the first island is going to be this central one. And then see, like, Select the central one, and it's a little endless crest by Beam Team. So you can see I haven't edited any of these islands to make it easy peasy or anything. But I'm guessing now it's not no longer procedural generated. I think this is just your your section that you can actually explore. And it looks like you can add stuff in here as well. So once you've explored all the islands, maybe you can go and make your own islands and add them in, or community based uh, product. Uh, um, islands and stuff as well. Um, so yeah, it's going to be interesting to see exactly what they've done. I'm going to be really, really newbie at this again. Because like I said, I haven't played it in a long, long time now. Just, there just wasn't enough content to keep me interested. So let's go ahead and jump in. We're going to watch the um, intro as well. Warning on your ears if you're wearing headsets, this may be a little bit loud. But I'm going to play through the, um, the intro, just in case you haven't seen it before. Oh, bit of turbulence. Oh, here we are underwater. Get out of here. Oh, the noise is so loud. Oh, Christ, one of the engines blew up. You used to have to get into the raft before it would blow you up, uh, blow that engine up, but now it's just as soon as you get right next to it. I was hoping to pop up and show you the wreckage, but here we are, guys. Uh, I apologize again if that. Um, the volume blew your ears off, but I did set all my audio volumes down. But yeah, look at this. Beautiful, beautiful world. I'm playing on Ultra with a couple of uh, settings tweaked, like turn the desync off and stuff, and uh, lock the frame rates to 60 FPS. But look at this. They've actually added waves. Wow, a bit of seasickness. So at the moment, don't have a paddle. You can hear the paddling sound. Hang on. Oh, we're actually a person now. We're actually a person. Look, my jeans are ripped and everything. That's pretty cool. Yeah, before you used to be a ghost, pretty much. You didn't see your body at all. Ooh. What's that? It's like a little shelter already made. Let's go ahead and get over to this island. Uh, so yeah, you've seen this... Where is that ship? Where's that boat gone? I think you can just see the tip of it there. Yeah, you see the shipwrecks around where you can get loot from. And we'll need to do some looting straight away. You can see some sticks here. And I don't know what that thing there is. If you use right click, you can drag stuff along. So let's move the raft out of the water. Don't let the waves wash it away. What are you? Driftwood log. Okay. Uh, you anything? No? Scraps? Let's see what that shelter is. Is that a corrugated iron? So I have done a little bit of reading up and I've noticed that they have added in loads more bits of... Oh, it's a container! It's a small container. Yeah, I, I did do a little bit of reading up. You, they, they've uh, added small and large containers and uh, corrugated iron, they've added steel, uh, loads of other bits of bobs that want. Is there anything inside this container? 
I've got to get used to the controls again. No, it's nothing. At least we can hide out from the storm here. Yeah? There's a storm coming in. Pretty cool. It's a shame there's no loot in there. No Wilson or something. So yeah, let's have a quick look at this island. Yeah, the islands when I used to play it before were really, really, really small. And these, this is huge. Absolutely massive. And there's another island really close there. A little bit of lag there where it's loading in. Oh, what's that? Ah, it's our falling. I shall pick you up. Ah, I can't see, can't see nothing. Get my knife, man. Um, yeah, I did a little bit of reading up um, about the uh, rafts that you can. Um, uh, they're like moddable now, so you can add different sections to it and they've also changed it so you don't actually need an engine straight away either you can go via sail power and I think you need the tarpaulin for that it's going to tweak the sound settings down a little bit more again Let's see if that'll do why's it got a voice volume it's not a multiplayer game that's made no difference whatsoever No, <laughs> made no difference whatsoever. Okay then. Pilchard? Where's Pilchard? Pilchard. So yeah, the basics of this game is you just need to survive, you need to, to eat, uh, drink. There's no animals on land that can kill you, but if you're swimming around in the oceans, exploring stuff, you can, uh, there's sharks. Uh, there's, I think there's two different varieties of sharks. There's whales, but the whales don't hurt you. Um, also, there's lion, there's loads of different types of fish. There's lionfish that would uh, hurt you. Oh, they've changed the look of the yucca plant. Um, is it? I need to get, but I've turned the volume down too much. Hang on. Audio. Audio, whatever. Still required. Go. So we've got two yucca plants here, that's good. We need lots of rope for um, building. Oh, there's another two here as well. Ooh, this is nice. What are you? Are you anything? Nope. Looks to be quite a few shipwrecks out here as well, which we need to go and have a look at. Can we chop down trees again? It does seem to be doing something. Yes! Oh, we can actually chop down trees again. Awesome. It, I, I was watching a YouTuber a while ago, and um, yeah, they took out the fact that you could chop down the palm trees. So I wonder if that's going to regrow. That would be interesting. Right, I'm going to go ahead, guys, and uh, have a run around this island and gather up some of the resources and look at where we're going to set up home for a while. Oh, oh, this nice lagoon. Yeah, so I shall pop back to you in a few moments and we shall see what we have got on this island. Hello, guys. Welcome back. I've had a little run around the island. I haven't got everything yet. We've got some... Uh, Four steel scrap and it's about four scrap iron, corrugated scrap, sorry, and one plank, a load of rocks and a load of sticks. Uh, it's starting to get night time. Um, I look at the watch, look, you hold F down as you look at your watch. It's half past five, 5th March, zero days survived, 75 centigrade, or well, Fahrenheit, sorry. And then if you press left click, you see you've got full health, two haunches of meat down, and one droplet of water down. Uh, but yeah, it's going to get night time, so I just thought I should let you know quickly that 
Uh, it's going to roll over to day two. I'm going to hang out and go through the night. We have no form of light at the moment. And then in the morning, we'll start getting some crafting going. I'm going to keep going around the uh, islands, trying to scavenge some more bits and bobs, and we'll see if we can um, get a campfire going. And hopefully I should have found a nice area for us to settle down in as well, maybe around here uh, or near this lagoon area. I know it's only a small lagoon. But hopefully we can find a nice spot around here. I mean, it looks pretty, doesn't it? So, yeah. Right, guys. I shall see you in the morning. Welcome back, guys. <clears throat> You're just about to witness one of the nicest parts of this game. Look at that sunrise. Absolutely beautiful, isn't it? I mean, hats off to the devs in this game. They got the graphics down to a T. Unbelievably beautiful. But anyway, it's morning, 6.13, and we are hungry and thirsty. So I thought I'd show you a couple of things uh, if you're new to the game. See what I've got in my hand here and what's on the floor here, a rock shard. So if you right-click on a rock, drag it up, and then if you chuck it up in the air, it lands on the floor and it breaks into rock shards. These are early game, they're used for crafting, but they're also early game, amazingly good and a little bit cheaty. Because if you notice here, it's got no durability. Now, the, hunt, the knife, the pocket knife that you get, which I've put down over here, pick that up a second, see how it's got durability and it's going down. 64% uh, durability, as you can see there. Now, the rock shard does exactly the same thing as a hunting knife. So, it's just easier to just use the rock shard and it takes no durability. So I've gathered up some pumpkins. You see, we've got loads and loads of materials here. We've got lo uh, and I didn't find any more steel, but found some more scrap iron, uh, corrugated scrap, sorry. And we've got loads of rocks and sticks and bindings and planks uh, and some coconuts. So if you go ahead and can I, can I hit the coconut? Yeah, there we go. Now we've got coconut. Is that the drinkable coconut? No. So I need to put that down. Uh, go back to my rock shard again. Do a little dancey dancey. Come on. You can also... Oh, it's now a drinkable coconut. Perfect. So if you look here, uh, we have got two down on the, the droplets of water so let's go to the drinkable coconut and how do you use it oh my god how do you use it the drinkable coconut e no why isn't that working Right, be back in one second, guys. I'm just going to go and check the inputs. Okay, guys, I'm back. It seems like there might be a little bit of a bug in uh, this version that I'm playing. So look, breaking the coconut should turn into a drinkable one in a moment. Uh, no, that's the normal coconut. Can we hit it, please? Can we hit it, please? All right away and look back at it then we pick that up now i'm already full on drink oh no i'm down to one again so let's do that and check my drink and yeah it's gone up one so all good and you drop it down on the floor again and dink it up and then it breaks into two half coconuts so we pick them up and this is great early game food Punch that into our mouth. See our food's not gone up. And there we go, it's gone up. So it's not great food, but it's good early game. Uh, that will do for now. So what I want to show you now is I'm thinking along the lines of, you know, long term. Um, where do we want our base camp to be? Because I want it to be able to be driven up to by the boat. But... Just for now's sakes, because we're starting to run low on food and everything anyway, 
I'm, I'm just going to whack a campfire down here. Um, so if you hit C, go into the crafting menu, and um, you see here we've got tools that we can make. We can make an axe, a hammer, a knife. A hammer is used for building. Um, we can make a spear, a hoe. Uh, that's for the new farming that's been introduced. And then we've got campfire, campfire pit, and campfire spit. And also a bed, something else that we want to make today. So that night time, so I can just skip on through uh, and keep on trucking, so to speak. So let's go ahead and make a campfire now. And it says here we need four sticks and we've got 23. So as long as you've got all the stuff that you need around you, then you can craft off the floor, which is a new change. And it's definitely for the better. So let's go ahead and make ourselves a campfire. Craft, and there you see we've got it here. Look. Now, just to start off, let's go and pop it right down around here somewhere and i've got a cool little trick to show you guys as well so left click that yep lovely now go and stand a bit closer to the rocks and now we want to make campfire pits so we need a campfire for that and then we need three rocks and we've got 13 so let's craft up that and yep that's done it look automatically did it for us now instead of going up to the campfire spit this allows you to put one item of food on top of it you see where my cursor is here you see the little rope hanging down you can cook one item of food at a time or put buckets of water in, uh, sea water on it, and it will purify it down to um, fresh water. But that's only one item at a time, and there's a, a neat little trick that we can do. So if we go to this pile here, we want to make ourselves a hammer. So one wood stick, two rocks, and one lashings all around us. Craft that up, and there we go. We've got ourselves a rock now, uh, a hammer now. Did I just cancel that back? Yes, I did. Still getting used to all these controls again. I haven't played this in such a long time. There we go. Look, we've got a crude hammer. So let's pick that up. Now, we go back into the crafting menu. And we go to buildings. Now, all of this has been unlocked. If I, if I chuck this hammer on the floor a second, go back to the crafting menu, uh, you'll notice that it's all grayed out. So you, you need a hammer. A hammer is required and needs to be equipped for building. So let's go and pick, pick up a hammer again and get the fingers right. There we go. So now, what we want to do is build a foundation. Um, and uh, here we go. Look. So let's go to uh, buildings again and foundations. And we've got four steel scraps. So let's go and grab that, craft it up. Now we walk over here. Look, you see. Look, I can't place it at the moment. So let's raise it up a little bit. I think that should be perfect. And we shall cancel it by accident. <laughs> Such a noob. Okay, so back to foundations again. Do you want to make it out of steel? Or... Okay. Oh. Yeah, let's do it out of steel. Make it look like a hot plate. So let's craft that up. And raise it up. Try and get it quite central. I think that's that perfect there. So look. Now I can access the campfire because we need to turn it on with the lighter, which I've dropped down over there. And also, once this has um, run out of fuel, you need to put more sticks in it to replenish it. But the awesome thing about it is it will cook everything that's on top of here. So instead of cooking one item at a time, and when we go fishing and uh, crab hunting, there's some crabs over in that direction, and get some uh, buckets of seawater, uh, we can just whack it all on top of here, and Bob's your uncle, it will cook it all up for us. Um, so let's just drop this hammer down over here. We don't need it right now. Now, I'm just wanting to run over and grab a couple of crabs. Uh, there's also a potato plant here, which I haven't showed you guys yet. This island is absolutely swimming in yucca plants as well, by the way. There's tons and tons of them. I'm tempted to call it yucca island. So yeah, here we go. Look, wild potato plant. Uh, we need our hacky rock shard for that, I think. There we go. Three wild potatoes. And where were those? Oh, did I miss some planks? Oh, thank you. There was some crabs around here somewhere. Ah, oh, here we go, look. Crabbies. Oh, did I kill him? Yep. So just one hit should do it. Is it one hit? Yep. Pick up some crabs. I'll show you how this uh, campfire works. We've got tons and tons of... Uh, oh, another potato plant. Another two potato plants. 
food for days. But yeah, I just want to grab some food quickly. Um, because as you can see, we're a bit low on food. And then I'm to end the video off, we're going to go on a little bit of an explore and um, go to that boat over there and possibly those two over there as well to see what goodies we can find. Oh, did I miss some corrugated steel as well? Thank you. Thank you very much. Is that yucca plant regrown already? Is that yucca plant's regrown already? That's taken like one in-game day. Yeah, look, you see, this rock shard takes no durability. That's exactly the same as all the um, other tools. Oh, get up there. Right, so let's get me some crabs. Pop them all down here, look. And uh, that, that one as well. And now my potatoes. I mean, I'm hoping we find uh, a bucket of um, seawater soon when we go exploring. Right, so they're all on top of there. Look, they're right above the campfire. Now, let me grab a lighter. Oh, hang on, let's chuck down this quickly as well. And we found some steel, which we can't see anything. There we go, that's that down. And one lashing. Nothing. Right, so let's get the lighter. Go and light this campfire up. There we go. Now look, see the fire's going through the steel? This is our hot plate now. I mean, it's not going to burn us if we stand on top of it, but... Let's go and put this lighter down. Actually, should we put it down right next to the campfire? Yeah, put it there. So we always know where it is. Beautiful. Beautiful. And yeah, it should hear in a couple of moments a ding. Fingers crossed. Unless this has been patched. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice going really croaky there. Fingers crossed it hasn't been patched. Anybody want to cook for me, please? Come on. Please. Please work. Oh, you hear that? What have we got? One cooked potato. Cooked crab. Cooked potato. Cooked crab. Cooked crab. Oh, no, that was some wild potato still. Cook crab, cook crab. Oh, that was a cooked potato. Cooked potato. Cooked potato. And I went on to store my food. I'm going to store it next to the top warning. Make sure. Oh, that one isn't cooked. All right, put you over there. Yeah, sadly the cooked crabs and the crabs all stacked together. Same with the potatoes as well. Put the potatoes here. Cooked, cooked, wild. Cooked. You can go over there as well. Cooked. Cooked. Right, so we've just got to put these two back on the fire. Ah. Uh, pop you back down as well. Right, so we'll leave them to it. I'm just going to grab myself a cooked crab. Does it tell us how much, tell us how much food that gives us? No. One, one serving. Is that it? Really? All right, we're down on two, so let's eat that up. Oh, one button. Ah, one button. Ah, oh, it gave us two. Yeah, lovely. Right, so that'll do now. So let's go out. We'll leave that food cooking up. Can't turn the fire back off again, so... Fingers crossed we don't come across a shark. Plenty of uh, storage space available for us, so we can loot this one and maybe go straight over to the other one. But yeah, these are the um, shipwrecks, guys. There's loads of different shipwrecks in the game. Look at underwater, man. It's so beautiful. Fishies, we need to get a spear and start spear fishing soon. There is a fish trap as well, but you need to bait it and stuff like that. So I don't know how, not quite sure how all that works. Is there an easy way for us to get in there? The right waves rolling in. Right, over there. So there should be, right, can't stay underwater for very long either. We start drowning. Uh, no chest at the front here. 
door open? No. Not going too well. There must be a chest at the back then, surely. Or no, that was the back. This is the front. Oh, there's some tires. That's for building your own rafts, which will come in very handy. Um, let's open this up. What have we got inside? Is there nothing inside there? Seriously? Seriously, nothing? Oh. Can't move the tire pile either. Probably have to break that. Um, there should be a door around here somewhere. Yeah, there we go. Door is open. Yeah, yes. Oh, hard case. Oh, wow, an air tank. That's a nice find to start off with. Don't really want that in my hand, though. What's that up there? Oh, another knife. Nothing else. Oh, oh, oh. Get that. Uh, nothing else in here? Nope. All right, so let's go up and get a bit of air. Now, there should be something upstairs as well. Can we get up here? Ah, here we go. Um, can we get up here? Thank you. Thank you. A little bit wonky donkey. Boat's all on a, on a skewer. Oh, enough of that. Could have done with coming to search in here first, couldn't we? And a jerry can. That's what we need for a boat motor and stuff as well. Uh, nothing else in here is lootable. Uh, I think this is it for this one. Nothing on the roof. And I don't think there's anything, any way to get in the, the, the bottom of this. Oh, it's a, ah, lionfish, stay away from me. They hurt. They poison you and stuff, and we've got nothing to bandage us or um, heal us at the moment. Right, so that's that boat done. Let's um, swim on over to this one over here, and let's see if we can find ourselves some more goodies. Oh, man, there's lionfish everywhere. I don't think you can eat them either. So yeah, it's been a good start to the um, to the new series, the first episode of this season. Let me go. Uh, let me know, guys, how you feel about the game. Uh, if you've got any tips or tricks that you um, want to share with me, then please, please, please leave a comment. Always nice to know what other people think and uh, and little stuff that they found that isn't always obvious, especially to somebody like myself. Uh, Right, this is an, oh, what's this? Oh, barrels. Yeah, that's used for making uh, your own raft as well. So, oh, an axe. Nice. I'm glad I haven't made one of them yet then. Uh, can we move you or do we have to break you as well? I think we have to break them as well. I don't think you can put them in your inventory. I think you literally have to carry them. Oh, and some more tyres. Oh, get up. In you go. Oh, oh no. Oh, what the? What the heck? Now that's unfortunate. Um, go down a little bit deeper. No, that's all bugged out. A rock in the way. Um, is there a way to get in around the back? Sometimes there's a way to get in around the back here. But this is spawned like completely on a coral reef. So I can't get in. About this side. Anything down here? Any way of getting in? No. no, that's a negative. Oh, that's a shame. Ah, oh, but there's another. Is that the boat I just. No. Right, let's check this boat out as well then, and then we'll call it a day. Uh, what time are we on? Uh... Yep, it's getting to evening again, so. Be a good time to call this episode a day. Oh, there's another one. Can we get up here? Oh, swimming through the boat apparently. What's that? Duct tape. I shall take you. Anything else up here? Nope. Alright, so let's go down here then. Is this one bugged out as well? Yes, it's bugged out as well. Can't see anything in here. It's super dark. Right, where's that? Wow, the time's going by so quickly. Right, I'll just swim back home quickly then. Oh. What's that? Bubbles. Deep bubbles. 
what's underneath the water there. This is a good way of spotting underwater shipwrecks is when there's bubbles like that. See the bubbles there? Only just can't you? And I can't see anything either. Oh, what have I, what, how am I hurting? Right. We'll all have to come back and investigate that another time. But right, guys, yeah, thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe to watch some more of these videos coming out in the next few days. And, um, yeah, any comments or helpful tips and advice, please, please, please leave a comment and uh, let me know how to play this game properly. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next episode.